on to the World Series now. Um, <coughs> the Cubs' first World Series appearance in nearly uh, in seven decades was nearly a disaster. In their first two games at Wrigley Field, they lost one nothing to seven to one. <coughs> so until last night, the Cubs, the Cubs didn't really give their fans much reason to cheer. But last night, the Cubs finally made the World Series interesting with a three two win over the Indians. I said head in the season, um, the Indians, um, ha the Cubs had the Indians had a better pitch, but the Cubs had a better team. So I was expecting um, the Cubs to win this one. They could still do it, but um. Uh, but the Indians have under have, have really shut down the Cubs bullpen, so it's you got to give the Indians credit. But the Cubs are still alive; they'll be playing Tuesday, Tuesday Game Six. If the Indians win, they're the champs. If the Cubs win, they'll play Game Seven, deciding Game Seven Wednesday. Cubs fans, Indians fans, neutral observer, homesick beat writer, wayward channel surfer, sleepy dog. Doesn't matter who you are or why you're with us next October. When Joe Maddon walked out of the mound in the seventh inning Sunday night, pointed his left hand to the bullpen and summoned hell and fire and filth into chaos in the fifth game of the World Series, you felt things. You felt confidence. You felt fear. You felt like you were seeing a baseball player push to the brink of their abilities and that something might just might snap. You felt like a manager was choosing this moment to make a final stand. It was no. It was a neon stopping bullet, uh, bullets. It was anti sugar flipping a coin. It was Rocky drinking raw eggs. It was Danny Ocean laying out the plan. I submit that those feelings, our feelings, are going to make baseball managers smarter in the next 30 years than they've, what they've been the past 30 years. Because those feelings are every person in the field's feelings too. S some background. What Madden did, bringing his closer, Aldrich Chapman, to protect a one-run league with eight yards left, is not unprecedented. I've had in his hands a list of everything that have happened in a baseball game, and it says here that just two and a half weeks ago, the Dodgers brought Canley Jansen to the seventh inning to try to save the game for the National League Championship Series. He gassed out, setting up Clayton Kershaw's save. Brad Lidge attempted an eight-out save in two of the four NLDS, but blew it. And there was Norm Charlton, Charlton the 95 American League Division Series, who blew it. And well, if you go back to the 1970 Rally Fingers. So that was very smart managed by the Cubs. They should not be ruled out. They're still very much alive. I guess I, I said the Cubs in six, but I'm, I guess I could go up to Cubs in seven. It could go either way. But I was looking at the Chicago. They, they, they got their flat. Yesterday was their first playoff victory. Was the first World Series um, game victory in 70 years, but the Cubs fans acted like they won the whole thing. Well, I guess if you wait 70 years to win for a World Series, if, if it would be like winning, it's, it would be like winning the World Series. It's like here in Buffalo. It's been so long since our last playoff game. It would be like winning the Super Bowl when the Bills finally return. So it was very interesting to see hearing the Cubs sing their song. Cubs fans sing their um theme song after the Cubs won that game. Go Cubs, go. Got how it went, but um, I'm playing it later on the show. But we're getting back to the music and um, um, then playing, then we'll talk about wrestling and the WWE Hell in the Cell pay-per-view. If you have requests, hit me up on Twitter. And coming up next is Gary Glitter with Rock and Roll Part 2. It's Keep on 7 the music I found.